Hi, Libra. I'm Pam, and welcome to your Psychic Tarot reading for August 2014. This month, I decided to do a card layout called the Star. And in the present position of this layout, Libra, you have Queen of Swords. And you very well might be this queen. <laughs> this could be you. Uh, the Queen of Swords would be associated with an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. This could also be their rising sign. Um, the Queen of Swords is someone that has a keen intellect, uh, a sharp mind. She has truth as an issue. Either she's extremely truthful and blunt and to the point, which can cause some havoc, or she's not truthful, which can also cause some havoc. Um, she's somebody who is an excellent communicator, and she's great at putting plans into action and seeing things through to fruition. I'm hearing that you need to be more careful and delicate in the handling of money matters at the present time. She also comes up in your reading today to remind you to stay true to your course and not to veer off your path, Libra. I hear um, that there's a lot of juggling and balancing of accounts and reconciling statements and balances and checking balances and accounts and money. It all seems to be circling around money right at the present time, Libra. You're going to come up against some people that are going to be a little demanding at you um, at this time and sort of try to rattle your cage or take you off of your focus, but try not to let them. This is a time to get organized. And I do get, um, you seem to have entered a time where there's a lot of indecision around you right now about money. I hear that most of you do have a good income and can spend freely, but and you do have the ability to make money rather easily. So I don't really see it being like your money being depleted or you having to struggle, but Money is really coming up in the forefront of your reading for August. And be very guarded about loaning any money out and loaning any cash because I feel like you may have some people coming at you to borrow money from you. Maybe you have a son or a daughter or a sibling. Somebody I feel is going to come to you and want to borrow money from you, but be very cautious about lending this money. I'm hearing if you decide to lend this person money, I wouldn't lend them the full amount that they're asking for. Be very judicious about the amount you give them and do your research and think carefully. I feel like two thirds of what they want would be a fine amount to lend. You need to be guarded here. I just keep getting like there's an opportunity here for this to come back and bite you in the butt. <laughs> I'm sorry to say it that way, but so be very guarded about what you lend and um, be sure and certain of your altruistic side when you lend this money. Be certain and confident about what you give or what you lend. That's the that's the thing that comes up right at the present time in your card layout for August 2014, Libra. The next card that you have in the layout is in the position of emotions and feelings. And in that position, you have the Four of Swords. And the Four of Swords to me symbolizes a meditative state. This can also be... Um, recuperating from an illness, uh, rest and recuperation just in general, or a meditative state. I feel like you're going to be combating against some things coming at you, people vying for money, time, attention. And I feel like you might be a little bit explosive at this time 
because I feel like you've had it. Like you, you're get, you're tired or run down or spent from a lot of things that have gone on in your life, and that you're at the end of your tether. Like enough is enough already. You want to put this to a rest in a sense that where you feel like you can calm down. You need to have a, a repose. A meditative state that's exactly what you need right now Libra and uh, don't feel bad or guilty is the advice here from the guide saying you deserve to have that rest and recuperation time your your resting period so try not to feel guilty about that if you can Libra I do get that you have a tendency to want to help out. You want to go out of your way to help out. And I feel from the messages I'm getting right here that that has come back to bite you in the past. And it came up in the previous card. When you lend this money, it might come back to bite you. So be very judicious with your time, with your attention. Take care of yourself. Your health is very important. Um, because I feel that, you know, our emotional state is connected with our health and our physical bodies are connected with all of that. So I feel like you have to be really cautious here. You don't want to get wrung out and feel like dragged through a knothole. So that's the message here um, with the first two cards. Um, so moving on to the third card in your layout today, Libra, for the month of August 2014, you have uh, in the position of intellect and thoughts, not to be outdone by the female air signs, we have the male air sign showing up here as the king of swords. And he would either be an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. So if you're a male, uh, Libra listening to this, this could be about you. I hear, um, I'm hearing there's a lot going on in your mind right now. It's almost like you feel like there's an uphill battle to climb. And I get that some of you Libras are in what I call like a waiting game. You've got some plans in progress or you've made some strategic moves and now you're waiting to see what's going to come through. For some of you, I feel this is bank loans for investing purposes, possibly property. And you need to be, there's a cautionary note here to be cautious about your own spending. You don't want to deplete your resources or finances right at this time. There's a lot going on behind the scenes that you don't know about, Libra. Slow and steady wins the race. That's what they're saying. Um, and I also hear, though, this is very good news, that speculative ventures that maybe you've invested in are really going to start to pay off. And I do get that this exact month of August is where you're going to see some of that come to fruition. Towards the end of the month, especially between the 25th and the 28th, but they're saying again that you are very likely to overspend because of these, you know, money coming your way. So just be cautious with that. They're saying, you know, you really would would be advised to be guarded and very thoughtful about how you spend your money. And again, loans come up and if you if you're lending out money to others, the payback might be a disappointment. Again, I'm going to say that's why I do not feel if you are inclined to loan this money out, I would not loan out the full amount if you can do that. Um, okay, Libra, the next card that shows up for you for this reading is the heart of the matter. And the heart of the matter and the heart of the situation, you have the emperor. And to me, the emperor symbolizes a patriarchal figure that has crossed over into the spirit world. This would be a deceased great-grandfather, grandfather, or father figure 
that is in the spirit world that has become a guide to you or is just closely um, at your shoulder, watching over you, guarding you, protecting you, advising you through the uh, ethers in your dreams and in your sleep state. I also am hearing that um, you might have to do some tap dancing around about money that you've already spent because I feel like there's somebody that might come up and call you to task for what money you've been spending. And nobody likes to have to answer for that. Um, for some of you Libras, now keep in mind, this is a general reading. So this, these messages are going to not apply to every single Libra listening to this. To get that, you would have to have a private reading. This is a general reading, but I do get that some of you are going to have to pay some money back actually to someone or a bank or institution that has loaned you money. There is also that coming up for some of you Libras. And that may unnerve some of you. I don't know why it comes up as seeming a little unnerving, but that's why you want to be very, very careful and cautious and have all your guard on about your money at this time. Wow, Libra, I'm sorry that all this seems to be about finances, but uh, spirit world out there certainly wants to talk to you about that for the month of August. I do feel, however, many of you Libras are going to move forward very stealthily and swiftly with certain things that you've been working on or projects that have been in the making, uh, some of those things really start to move forward very quickly for you. And for many of you Libras, you're on the brink of coming into very great wealth. If you haven't already had that windfall or surge of finances in your life yet, you're either the Libras in the wave that it's already happened or you're in the Libra wave that it's coming soon. So Libras, money is an issue in many senses of the word here. I'm getting, you know, really organize your finances, get everything straight, make sure everything balances out clearly, be careful of lending because there is someone that's going to come knocking on your door. I'm feeling more like it's a male figure. So to me, this either seems like a son, a nephew, a friend, a brother. It still could be female, too. Um, coming to you asking to borrow money. And I do feel a windfall or money coming at you. I see projects moving forward with uh, some investments. Um that have already been made. I see that money coming in and coming forward to you now. I do see you owing some people money. Some of you Libras have to pay some money back to a bank. Um, so it's like money is all over the ballpark with you guys <laughs> this month um, of August. And it really seems sometimes they project outward in time, even though the reading is for the month of August for you. So far, it really does seem to be a lot about this particular month of August. And the next card in your layout in this star spread is what is yet to unfold. And in that position, you have the three of wands. And this card symbolizes to me opportunities um, are about to succeed. It also can indicate new enterprise and business. I'm hearing for you, Libra, that in the month of August or moving forward, even into the month of September, that travel can be highlighted for some of you where you would be traveling possibly overseas, some of you even as far as Australia, if you're in the United States. Um, and I get that this isn't just for pleasure. I do get some business or job opportunities or financial opportunities to make more money are connected. It's actually, let me rephrase that. It comes up as business connections slash travel and enjoyment. It seems like a wrapped up situation. 
some of you are going to go to Italy. I get France. I hear Italy. I'm also hearing the country of Australia. And I do get for some of you, you're going to follow your heart and passion and your desires right now strongly. And uh, wealth is a very important thing in your life right now. I'm also hearing for some of you that you have relatives that live abroad and you will be visiting relatives in your travels. And this time period of travel that I'm seeing spans the time of August, like from the 12th on throughout the month of September and even going into October. Those seem like up till about the 20th of October. That is the time period highlighted the most for travel, travel to visit relatives that live in a distant country, uh, and also the business contacts slash travel and enjoyment uh, aspect of this. And I'm also hearing, Libra, that you're really going to be fostering and building a lot of bridges with your harmonious relationships in your life. And I hear if any of you have had the feeling of like feeling like you're left out or left back, that you don't like that feeling anymore and you want to regain some of the ground that maybe you feel you've lost over the last year and a half, two years, some of you even three years with some connections that have been very important to you in your life. It's like a time of relationship building. I don't see this in a romantic sense. I see this in a more familial and friendship alliance sense. And I do feel that a lot of you Libras are going to be giving things away. Uh, not talking about money here. I feel to you're going to be donating a lot of your uh, personal possessions, furniture, clothing, even appliances to people you know that need them, churches, uh, relatives, friends. I, I see you giving away a lot of possessions, and it's not junk I see you giving away. This is stuff of value, you know, things that are good. They are still, you know, useful, and um, I do get that you really want to help other people out. So that comes up strongly in that time frame, between, even in the same time frame as the travel. And you, you donate, really donating a lot. I feel like even donating to shelters, like homeless shelters or um, abused wives and, you know, abused women shelters or, or the people that just need things of a large and important nature. And even like washers, dryers, refrigerators. Furniture, I mean, big items, big ticket items. I see you donating a lot. So that's very generous and nice of you, Libra. We need that altruism in this world today. And uh, so kudos to you on that. Um, the next card that you have that shows up in your reading for August 2014, Libra, is in the position of known desires. Uh, this is a little funny card to come up in known desires, but you have the Four of Pentacles. And the Four of Pentacles to me symbolizes somebody that's holding on tightly to their money. Uh, they're being very cautious and careful about their money. It can also indicate success with money. Uh, some people read this as the card of the miser. I'm not really seeing it so much as that. In this instance, I feel like it's being guarded and protective of your money. Um, I feel for some of you Libras, you're actually going to be involved with talking to somebody that I would call like a spiritual advisor or a counselor. This could be if you're Catholic, a priest, um, if you're Jewish, a rabbi, or any spiritual, a pastor. It, it doesn't matter who. It, it could be somebody involved in metaphysical practices. I, I just get you getting some advice from spiritual counselors or a spiritual counselor at this time. And I get a very strong sense from you for wanting to make good. Like, I feel that you want to do some really good deeds. 
and create some really good karma for yourself. Not that that's your intention, like, oh, I want to create good karma, but I see you feeling like that you want to do good. You want to be generous and be kind and do good for others, and that this will bring you a lot of peace and contentment and joy in your life by doing this. I feel that you've done it before. I don't feel this is necessary your first time out of the gate with that kind of generosity, but it does come up. And I do get spiritual guidance very strong coming to you. This can also be spiritual guidance from deceased loved ones or from the your spirit guides around you. Um, but I do actually feel for many of you, it's actually a physical person that you're going to be talking to. Um, because religious views also do come into play for some of you. There is religion behind some of this spiritual counselor uh, figure that I do see coming up for you. In your outcome position today, Libra, you have the card of uh, five of pentacles, which I find kind of disappointing. Um, and I don't really like this card for you, I have to be honest. Fives are di represent difficulties and challenges. Five of pentacles can be uh, a card of depression. It can be, some people read this as bankruptcy, financial bankruptcy, or emotionally, feeling emotionally bankrupt and depression. This is your outcome card here. So I'm a little confused because I didn't really pick up anything overly negative here, uh, really. So let me see why this showed up. You know, interestingly enough, I get for many of you Libran, Librians, <laughs> many of you Librians, um, that many of you are feeling sadness and grief over somebody that you've lost that has passed away, uh, loved ones that have passed. Doesn't mean necessarily they recently passed. This could be even a few years ago, but like missing loved ones that have passed. And I get for many of you, you're feeling a little lonely about them passing and nostalgic. So for some of you, this is going to be parental figures or possibly older siblings or siblings of yours that may have passed away or relatives or very good friends. It doesn't really matter who it is, but it's people that you've had an emotional connection to that have passed and you're missing them and, and looking back fond, with fond memories. It comes up like going down the road of memory lane. And ironically this actually helps you get through some difficulties that you might be experiencing in your decision making which i'm not really sure of the connection here and i'm hearing that the spirits around you of your deceased loved ones ancestors past and relatives that have passed that they're really around you very strongly right now and guiding you guiding you with what steps to take and the next steps that are going to be beneficial for you. So Libra, I have to say, please pay attention to the signs that are coming up around you because you're going to get signs that will be obvious in some ways of who they are. Take notice of when the phone rings. What are you saying? Is the phone ring and you pick it up and there's no one there? What were you saying when the phone rang? Um, are you making a statement about something or having trouble with the decision and you move a paper or you pick up a piece of paper and there's something written on it, that a note that you wrote to yourself a month ago or that's written on a piece of paper from a store and it says something that explains something to you that you need to pay attention to i mean signs come up in very odd ways what time is it when you wake up in the middle of the night and you look at the clock pay attention to numbers phones ringing stuff written on paper notes you see written on paper things you catch over like the car radio you turn your radio on what is the advertiser saying at that moment or the radio personality talking about right then, you're getting spiritual guidance and being directed and helped. And I feel that for 
most of you Libras, this is not just one spirit. I feel like you have about three relatives that are around you that are really urging you and guiding you very strongly now. So don't give up or any hope of any plans that you have. Just stay tuned to the things that are going on around you. Even though this is not a card of look for the signs, that's what I'm hearing. So I want to say, Libra, I hope this reading was some help to you for this month of August 2014. And I also want to say thank you so much for watching and sharing my videos and for subscribing. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your month of August. If you're interested in getting a private reading with me, please see the link provided below. And I wish you many blessings and peace.